Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lena Kreese. I'm a Nigerian creative fashion designer and in this video tutorial we're going to learn how to make a call dress. So let's get to the work table and get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Okay, so we'll fold it into two like this. Into two. Fold it into two. Then fold it again into two. First of all, you take your shoulder measurement from here. You take your shoulder measurement. Shoulder measurement is always divide. We always divide shoulder measurements into two. So mine is 14. So into two will make it seven. You mark at seven. Okay, for the sake of this project, we are using the neckline 3 by 3 by 4. By 4. Okay. Take your shoulder 7 inches, divide by 2. Then shoulder slope 1 inches. Then for your neckline 3 by 4. Then you cough out your neckline. Then from the one inches shoulder slope, you measure down. Please make sure that hair is up to one inches at least. Hair should be up to one inches. Please, this is where your shoulder stops. Then from there, you take your armhole from here, nine inches. This is where your hand is going to pass through. Okay, so now from the shoulder, take 30 inches down from the shoulder slope. Remember from the shoulder slope, take 30 inches down. 30 inches that should be about um, four from four five to nine inches above your knee please don't make it more than nine inches above your knee so that the drape will not fall too the cold dress won't be too you know saggy don't make it more than nine inches above your knee then you make a line here Then you move the rest of that you can see. Okay. This is it. Make a line here. Okay, then from at this line you take your Hip measurement your hip measurement divide by four plus two inch is allowance and one inch seam allowance so we are adding three inches so my knee that will be 11.5 for me so you divide your hip measurements by four you add two inch is allowance then one inch seaming allowance so this 11.5 this is what you will take all the way down to where your full length stops Okay, now for the call itself to bring out the drape in the clothes from here, maybe in the 
closer to the camera from here you're going to cough and connect down here please just watch me just follow what i am doing Okay, all you needed to do is you take your neck measurement 3 by 6 then your shoulder measurement divide by 2 you take your shoulder measurements then you take your shoulder slope from the deck from the neck down here not less than one and a half or one inches then from the slope line you measure 30 inches or let me say five inch five to nine inches above your knee then at that place you pick your hip measurement divide by four plus two inch is allowance and one inch for seam allowance then you pick the measurements then measure that same measurement down to your full gown length then at that very point of 30 inches that is nine inches above your knee from there you curve you take a curve line and connect it down to the gown i think that Start by cutting your neckline. I'm using the same neckline for the front and the back. Okay. Then from there, you cut on the slope upwards. Don't forget to notch where your armhole stops. then from there you take your curve line put it downwards So this is what it looks like after cutting this is how I cuffed it okay this is what it looks like yes this is where my armhole will stop then this is my neck line so this is it okay so you put the bar uh, the two sides together right side facing each other so to sew you start from the neckline from here you sew it down to where you make your armhole notch when you get there you stop okay then from here from here you sew it by the one inch seam allowance all the way down round so you get here the one inch seam allowance okay you do the same thing to this other side to this other side you start from the neckline sew to where you make you made your armhole notch when you get there please don't sew don't sew up your armhole then from here again you start sewing with one inch please make sure you match your fabric well let me quickly get to the machine and do this okay, okay. we are done sewing here from there down if you look at it we've sewed all the way down then we've sewed here we stopped at the arm hole remember we said the arm hole is going to be nine if you are size 
12, 14 from size 10. Please make the armhole. I'm up like this up to 10. Look at here is 9. Please, when you are sewing, remember to shift your armhole so that it will be 9 because you're using 1 inch to sew here down and you're using 1 inch to sew from the neck line. Please remember that. So now we're almost done with this dress. What is left now is for us to you either use a bias tape and turn the neckline or you can follow me how I want to do mine. You can pipe it this way. You take half inch in, then a quarter of an inch in, sorry, then a quarter of an inch in again. Then you sew all around. Let me repeat myself again. A quarter of an inch in, then a quarter of an inch in again. Then you sew around the neckline. Then apply that also to the armhole area. A quarter of an inch in, then a quarter of an inch in again. Then you sew around. Then for the down, you could use a bias tape. Well, then for the down, you use an interlocking machine preferably use a red color or a white color then interlock the edges it looks neater than piping it thank you